G'day, this is cybersecurity tip number 29. And it's some thoughts about uh, security in general and the way to approach it. Uh, the family and I have just come back from a trip through uh, Central America and um, through Mexico, Belize and Guatemala. Um, and there were some things that I saw there that I thought had really good analogues for how we talk about internet security. So in New Zealand, Australia, UK, we live in a fairly civilised society where there is good rules of um, uh, civilised behaviour and law and order is well maintained. People operate within the norms fairly well. All right? um, whereas in the third world, the uh, structures of law and order don't necessarily, um, uh, they don't really provide the level of services that we're expecting here in New Zealand or wherever. You. And um, over those in developing countries, it really is a sense of you are responsible for your own security um, and, and stability. You provide that, whether it's a walled compound or whether it's having uh, bodyguards escorting you to the, to the local zoo, as I saw, um, apartments with uh, security guards on the front gate, um, armed security at places like paint shops and banks. I'm not so sure why paint shops needed security, but they didn't. Um, but um, the internet really, it, it's like a developing world. It's, uh, it's only 15, 25 years old, 1995. It's, it's the rules about how people behave in it are not well defined. There's a lot of looseness and essentially there's no central governing body that dictates, hey, this is the way it shall be. So as a result, there's a lot of just wild, wild west type behavior going on out there. And a lot of people don't quite get that. They, they're used to going to um, and, and buying services from the ASB or what have you, but their security ends at their website and they are not responsible for what goes on on the other side of their wall partition. If that's your computer and your internet connection, that's up to you uh, with respect to things like um, buying uh, outsource services through uh, Gmail, Amazon, or, um, or Office 365, they provide a stable container for all of your files and data to sit in, but they're not responsible for it and what you do outside of that. So that's where you need to uh, get the help of people like myself at, at Vertec IT Services to provide that outsourced security guard type mentality for you and your data and the way your staff operate on the internet. So there you go. We're happy new year, cracking into it. I've got my uh, my winter, winter coat off uh, for the meantime and I'm cracking into it. You have a good one too. Cheers.